All right, let's dive into some Lil Red here. Like I was saying before, I played just a tiny bit of this game, but we'll uh, boot up a new game. And I think this actually just released like properly uh, just the other day. And I really, really love the like Game Boy, Game Boy Color vibes. It's got very much like a Kirby meets Mega Man uh, vibe going on uh, from what I've played so far. All of these uh, characters here are these little like animal uh, minions, if you will. Uh, you can actually kind of use them to like uh, attack and like swap between almost like they're like a Mega Man ability and this like obviously has very much a Kirby vibe. I love, love the soundtrack. You can actually swap it, not from this menu, you have to do it right from the start um, to like more of like a retro 8-bit uh, style, but yeah, you have like kind of like this slash attack. I think you can hold and charge. Like I said, I've only played a little bit of this one, but yeah, you can do like a charge attack and then if you press up, like kind of Castlevania style, up an attack. Um, so I guess it's got a little Castlevania flavor too. Um, but obviously very Kirby. I think it's even got the double tap to run. Um, got these pesky snails here. Some kind of songbird. And then I think if I press select... No, how do I... Uh, there's a, oh, I, I guess if I just press X, I can uh, launch those... Uh, oh, and I can... Pr there's a separate run button too. But X will also launch my uh, rabbit. I thought there was a way to switch... Oh, okay, I gotta just press the shoulder button, so now I got my cat. Let's launch that cat for more of like a dash. Let's see, this is like a checkpoint. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot you can do this like bounce jump. I think you can do this, just do this jump regularly too. Yeah, if you're like running and... Yeah, I really actually, I remember really liking the movement. Yeah, if you press down and jump, you do like this spin jump, which is really cool. Um, and then, yeah, up and attack, or I guess you can press the X button on the controller I'm using. I got my 8-bit dough going. And then I like that there's a separate run button or a double tap to dash, uh, you know, Kirby style. I don't always love that double tap, so I like that there's a separate button or the double tap option. Getting my freaking ass kicked here. Um, let's see what this, uh, these two turtle doves can do for me. Is that life? Perfect. Unfortunately not. Oh, do you just start running after a while? Oh. Automatically? I think you do. Let's see. I can't tell if it's from the slope. Okay, no slope. Just running. Nope. I must have just been glitching on the D-pad there. Oh no. Oh no! Oh my god. Okay. No! Oh, I really like that idea of a uh, 12 Days of Christmas uh, tower defense game. Do it for the, like, do a Secret Santa Jam or something. That'd be awesome. Um, man, this game has, like, such a mellow, uh, vibe going on, but it is kind of retro, uh, brutal. I mean, I put it on that normal difficulty, which is, man, that knockback. Kind of got that Castlevania flavor there, but definitely got that Mega Man vibe on the, um, <laughs> that death animation. All right, so let's say charged up here. Do I lose the chart? Nope. I just lose the flash. Okay, just don't even let these snails touch me. A little double tap. Oh my god. I don't know why I'm always so tempted to, like, I always want to, like, kill every enemy in the game. Okay, let's just actually use this run button for a change. The controls are, like, a just a little... I don't even want to say finicky, but there's definitely times where I'm not meaning to use my, uh, like, well, that one, I actually hit the button, but not meaning to use my little, uh, animal minions, or even that time, I don't, unless I just go in the door by touching it, but I definitely didn't mean to hit up there. Oof. Up and over. Oh, man. Oh, man. Dang it. Oh, 
Oof. Oh my god. This game is brutal. Apparently I'm just picking all the games that are just kicking my ass tonight. At least I got some health and a checkpoint, though. Pretty long uh, stage here, too. I gotta just, like, kiss some of these enemies goodbye. I don't have to kill every enemy in the game. Is this the end of the stage? Kind of looks like it. Oh, can I jump on them with that spin jump? Nice! Oh, man. Rack up that timer. That's like ear piercing. <laughs> can I skip it? <laughs> there we go. Score F. Oh, man. Press the jump button while holding up or down to perform a spinning jump. Interesting. So they teach you it later. Level one? Wasn't that level one? No wonder the controls are finicky. They get, let you do multiple uh, inputs for the same thing. Not that that's a bad thing. Up feels actually much more natural. But I like that they give you the option. Um, and now that I'm using up, it's not throwing me off. Although up and attack. Get this bunny out of here. The bunny just doing that huge, like, arc attack, like, now, that's what I mean, like, pressing up and attack to launch that is a little bit rough. I don't need the help. Well, okay, let's see if I can just land on this fool. Oh. Okay, you can. There we go. I want the cat. I really, I don't know, I, it's kind of repetitive, but I really love the music. Alright, get the hell out of here. Oh, come on. Okay. Couldn't tell if my charge slash did damage to it even when it had the shell. I think it does. Okay, so I gotta take advantage of that charge. Number one for the bonus damage. Oh man. Give me that health. Give me that checkpoint. Mm. Get the hell out of here. It doesn't really matter that much, but I do think some of these enemies you just gotta. Oh, can I do like a ground pound? What was that? It does seem like if I double tap down, I do get like a. There is, like, kind of a ground pound mechanic, though. Yeah, if you, like, double tap that down. Yeah, it's a little finicky. Like, I feel like I shouldn't have killed that enemy there, but I'll take it. I will take it. Let's see. Oh, that's an enemy? Get the hell out of here. It's a freaking flower in the background. The only thing that's a little bit of a bummer is all these enemies are so cute. I kind of feel bad killing them other than this demon bird. Get the hell out of here. Okay. Watch out for this. Kind of like a cool, like, mimic style uh, enemy. Okay. What should I do here? Maybe this is a good bunny usage. There we go. For once. Oh no! No, that double tap to run is killing me. Okay. 
Yeah, seriously, all these cute uh, critters are just like taking me down. And that knockback again. Uh, I know I mentioned that this is kind of like Kirby meets uh, Mega Man a little bit. Uh, but definitely has that Castlevania flavor with that knockback. Goodness gracious. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my, no! You gotta be kidding me. Gotta use that run button more. I can't tell. It seems like, it almost seems like you do the... Oh, get out. I think you do that spin jump too if you're running automatically. Okay, I need that health. Let's see. Nope. I must just be pressing either up or down while I did it. Dang it. Oh no, that's the thing! I thought that- Oh, oh my god. No! Where are the fucking checkpoints in this game? Oh no, I got one! <laughs> Suckers. Get out. I gotta just have a little more patience, like... Any of these retro-inspired games, like, and just a lot of games in general, but these retro-inspired games, oh my god. You gotta, like, have a little patience. Kite the enemies a little bit. Like, wait for this thing to shoot, get a couple dash uh, slashes in. Oh, yeah, I really gotta use my animal buddies to my advantage. There we go. Oh no. Oh, I lucked out on making that jump. End of the stage, let's go. Okay, you do have to press up. Not just instantly, instantly when you touch it. <laughs> that ear piercing another F. Man. Double tap right or left or press the run button to quickly dash forward. It's kind of cool that you just press the run button, though, and then you just actually run. Like, you don't have to even touch the D-pad. It almost seems like it's better to avoid the enemies in this game. Like, I'm, they don't drop anything. They don't, you know, they don't give you any health. I mean, if you kill them, you get rid of them, but... A lot of them don't really chase you down, so if they don't... Like, this one's worth killing. I mean, if they're right in your face, they're worth taking out, but... Like, this mushroom? Really don't care. Even this thing? Uh... Wasn't so much talking about that f flower that I actually killed, but... No! Oh my god. It's more you just gotta worry about them in the sense of the knockback. Like here, I'm just gonna take this rabbit, sit you down, give me that checkpoint. That mushroom is... Oh no. Just waiting for that knockback. There's, like, no benefit from killing any of these enemies. No! Yeah, there's, like, a few little buggy glitches here and there, but... Oh, big snail. Not in any kind of bad way. Like, it feels very Game boy -y in that way. Oh, no! Double tapped. Man. 
Big jump. The run button's in a weird spot, but I can I can live with it with the way this game works. That double tap, that's actually how I ran off the edge there on accident. Just throw a little lob shot. No! No! Not even gonna try to get that health down there, especially with the checkpoint right here. Man, a stinking chihuahua. Oh. That was like a sniper. I was, like, I was just gonna say that flower looks a little more devious than the previous ones. There we go. Nope. Oh no, I thought there was gonna be ground below there. No! Oh my god. Come on. Yeah, thank goodness this music is like nice and chill. So I would, this game probably would have already tested my patience at this point. Not in a bad way, again, it's a very just retro, you know, Game Boy, NES uh, inspired difficulty. And I could put it on easy if I wanted, but. Oh, end of the stage, no, don't you dare. Oh my God. So I wonder what factors in most into your score here. Maybe the number of retries, another F. Only two retries, so maybe time. Double tap down, one in the air. Yep, ground pound. Oh. Instead of doing a slope to get across further distances, that's interesting. How does that work? have like too much of a move set here. I don't even mean these to be uh, sounding like gripes. Uh, oh. Just go up and over, up and over. Checkpoint. can make that gap. Come on! Oh, man. Yeah, that combo of running and then getting that uh, spin jump going is sweet. At least this snail actually pops its head up once in a while. Gives you a chance to take a shot at it. These enemies are freaking impossible to dodge, some of them. And then some of them are pretty easy to handle. It's like kind of the more innocent looking ones are the hardest ones to dodge. Other than this one. I feel like that one's not so innocent looking, but the, oh, this little freaking pipsqueak. Get out of here. Like this flower looks way more menacing than this little pipsqueak dog. And yet this dog does damage to me every goddamn time. Sit down. This porcupine does, de does like double damage to me every time. Can I lob the bunny at that pigeon? Quail, whatever it is. Give me some health. Give me a checkpoint. Up and over. Oh, barely. Oh, no! No! Okay. Can't even chance this. Just run. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. Get the hell out of here.
Oh, I can't believe I could clear that gap. Nah, I'm just playing reckless. No. No! I'm trying to break out the doves. No. Get the fuck out of here. No. No. Oh my god. Running low on health. No! I thought I was gonna do the big leap. Land from a jump if you're running, you don't keep your run going. Is that right? Yep. Okay. That makes sense. As to why I was like whipping some of those. Just expect me to keep my run going. Oh my god. Give me the health. Give me the checkpoint. Thank you. Thank goodness. Oh, whiffed. Totally whiffed. Okay, so I gotta remember landing from a jump. Run is not continued. Okay, you can slide here, so how does... I still don't get how that would give you extra... Jump time, so it's not like I'm getting any extra speed. Oh, I see. I sort of see. Clear the stage before the snail blows my brains out. Jesus. Another F power cut. Hold it down. Man, this game is just brutal. Oh, boss battle? Okay. Let's see if I can hold my own here. Such a mellow boss battle tune. Okay, the rabbit's gonna be my only bet. With, uh... This arc shot. What's going on, Victor? Yeah, this game is kicking my ass, but it is very fun. Very much like a Game Boy, like Kirby inspired meets Mega Man meets Castlevania situation going on, and I'm definitely digging it. Um, even though it is destroying me. Oops. Ran when I meant to throw my, um, uh, bunny. Okay. What do you got for me, bud? Oh, come on. I keep thinking I'm doing, like, a ton of damage when I'm hitting it a bunch, but I'm really not doing much. Patterns really aren't that tough. Uh, guess I hit it every time. Oh my god. I'm so impatient with boss battles, like, I just want to get them over with so fast. There we go. 
Come on. Get over here. Get over here. Okay, I'm learning the patterns. Oops, didn't mean to run there. Oh. There we go. Drop down. Sit down. Break out the bunnies. Oh, shit. Or, I mean, the... Birds. I kind of... Cheese that, but kind of lucked out there. Jump over that one. Oh, barely. Come on. Come on. That's what I wanted. One more. One more. Please, one more. Come on. Okay, two more, I guess. Oh, my God. No. Do the freaking thing, yeah. Yes! Yes! Sit down. Sit down. Do we get a little Kirby dance? Nope. Do I get another F? Yep. <laughs> Keep the attack button or the call button held. What? Very Kirby-esque. Oh my goodness, does that do it for everyone? No. Only for the... Uh, bunny. Interesting. Like the new palette for this world. Can I land on the lily pads? Yep. I was thinking they were gonna maybe sink. Maybe they do. Can't tell if that's just an effect. Just keep zipping through. Oh, I wonder if those spikes are insta-kill. Oh, those frogs are too cute. Don't think about it, pal. Don't even think about it. Oh, what the hell? No. No! Was there no checkpoint up to that point? Okay. I was about to say. Oh, no. Okay, you can see where they're going to pop out of with the shadow. That's cool. That's actually really... Ah, fuck. Really cool, and then pretty freaking tricky. These enemies don't mess around in this game. Okay. Gotta kite it out. Like, are those the frogs shooting out those music notes, too? It's like... They're already pretty pesky enough. Oh, man. Oh, no! Don't tell me I missed that jump. It's because that run just doesn't continue. I feel like I'm just making excuses constantly in this one. Oh, my God. The platforming is brutal. The knockback is brutal. I was gonna say, can those frogs swim too on top of it? Get the hell out of here. No! Oh. Up and over. Oh, they do eventually just disappear. Up and over. You can't even tell me I didn't make it over that. Oh my god, I hit the wrong button. Uh, it's because the run button's not where I normally would have it. Oh, almost did it again. I did it again. Get the hell out of here. That's because as soon as you hit the run button, it makes you start running. 
Oh, oh, I thought I <laughs> I literally like <laughs> looked away because I thought I died already. Oh my god. Get the fuck out of here. How could a game this cute be so brutal? That Mega Man death sound effect uh, and animation just makes it feel all that much more painful. I do tend to find it's easier. I know I already said this earlier too, I think, but just to avoid these enemies at all costs. I hate that I gotta just keep pressing the run button, but I don't care. Yeah, just avoid at all costs. Like any enemy that you try to hit is just gonna knock you off somewhere. Oh dang, could have used that health, but the stage is huge. I guess I'll kill that enemy. What do I do here? Just a regular jump. Run. Oh, get the hell out of here. How long is this level? This frog just hunting me down. Holy heck, just all that for an F, I'm sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. This game is amazing, though. I'm really digging this. Absolutely brutal, but really, really fun. Super awesome retro vibes. Um, unexpectedly difficult, but I can't say it's the first time I've said that about a video game. Um, that was much cuter than it looked. Um, but man, this game is sweet. 